Welcome back to the weekly vlog. We're in a beautiful setting to start the weekly vlog off. We have come down to Bournemouth uh, Sunday. We didn't really have much wrong. We were meant to go to the gym, but it turned out to be a lovely day, so we decided we were going to come down here. It turned out that it was the uh, Bournemouth Marathon today, so less than ideal in terms of traffic situation, but it's quite nice to see people running the marathon and uh, stuff like that. So we're going to start the video off with a fire Bournemouth edit, some drone footage and stuff like that, and crack on with the weekly vlog. Let's go! Legit! Feelings is a no, let me tell you how it goes Curves the word, spins the bird Loving it, curves so freak what you heard Rolling with the fatness You never quite know what the hat is You got to pay to play Just for surely bang bang to look your way I like the way you work it yeah. Tough nuts, trump tight every day You're blowing my mind, baby in time Maybe I can get you in my ride Oh, zoomed in there we go. Sorry. Okay, so we're back in the Beamoth town. Now this is I actually... Don't so I don't get sand <laughs> okay, this is where I announced that I was going to Texas for the first time. Do you remember that? Was it? One of my first videos and it was like exciting travel update. Oh, it was in not Texas this year, it was in Texas last, yeah. last time. That was one of my first videos. We're in uh, London this weekend, which I want to make a whole separate video for. So that's why we're starting the weekly vlog early doors. But it's a nice day. Nice day. It's a nice set, we're going to get some dinner. Oh, nice day, it's evening now. Yeah, we're going to get some dinner, chill out, see where the night takes us. And you ain't got work tomorrow. <laughs> Best stop working Mondays because she's Not lazy. every Monday. Every other Monday. I'm going Saturday because I'm a hard worker. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's quite good, isn't it? That's going yeah, on. Yeah, so nice. So now, every day, every time that Beth works a Saturday, she gets the Monday off the following Monday. So, ideal. Which we get some time together. Exactly. Good morning, team. Oh, welcome back. So the next day is Monday. Belle, what's crack? What's going on? Oh, yeah, I'm actually dropping Belle off to Beth's. Look, she wants to get out. Uh, I'm going to head to the gym. I'm actually going to go back to DSX. Just because I fancied a bit of a change. I just want to train at a different gym. I haven't actually got that much time because I'm back in work early this morning. Early this afternoon. So I'm going to go to DSX and work out for a change. And uh, Beth is going to take Belle for a walk with... Dex, as in Dex isn't another lad, by the way, Dex is another dog. You need, you need um, loads of stuff, huh? treats and that. Have you got? Yeah. Okay. So, like I said, we're back at DSX. To be honest, I'm quite excited to train it. We're hitting legs, starting off the week with a leg day. <coughs> they have not got nowhere near as good stuff at this gym than they do at 24-7. Having said that, like I said, I needed a quick one. It's good to train at different gyms, hoping that Rich is there and uh, maybe we can get a bit of workout in together. But if not, it will still be a solid one. Let's go back, let's relive the good old times. Let's go hit a leg day at DSX. You're blowing my mind, baby, in time. Maybe I can get you in my ride. I like the way you're working, no diggity. Southern grounds. Looks good to be back here. Look, DSX had a little refurb. Everything's gone green, which is the colours of DSX. Looks sick actually. So, if you're ever in this special pool area, I still love this gym. DSX, check it out. Rich is still running N Suns. So I did a review of a training program, N Suns, this one here. Rich is still running it. How's the N Suns going for you, mate? 
It's really good. Take it out, you know. It's, it's a hard, hardest program I've ever done, but probably the most rewarding in terms of numbers. Would you agree? Yeah, every session is a struggle, but like numbers saying. have progressively gone up. Yes, yeah, so now he is way stronger than me on everything. <laughs> So uh, maybe I'll jump back on the end suns, but if you haven't checked it out, go and check out that video. It's a good one. What's happening, squad? We're doing post-workout shake. I haven't actually had a protein shake, or made a protein shake, in probably two, three, four weeks. Just gone really off. Do you ever have phases where you're in and out of your protein shake? So I've been buying them from the shop, shop made, but I haven't made any. Maybe because I've only got this ghost flavour in at the minute and it's a blueberry a toast, I don't know if you can see that. And that is really, really sweet. And it just gets a bit sickly after a while. I'm not knocking the ghost products because I'm a big fan of their pre-workouts and stuff like that and their pump products. And I've had uh, peanut butter cereal milk and normal cereal milk, but they're both better than that one. I just got this one when I was in America because I want to try it out, but a bit of a mistake. But we're doing that. We're doing chicken and sweet potato fries as our meal, and then it's back to work. Oh, let's crack on. Damn, that even smells sweet. I wish you could like smell it through the lens. All right, so let's do power scoop. 36 grams of protein in this though, for one scoop, which is solid. And then I'm a 50-50 guy, water, and red milk. Look at them one-handed tickers. Some tickers are good. Right, let's chug that off and then make the meal. Another thing about that protein is, it has little like pastry bits in it, which I thought was going to be really, really nice, but when you just down it, you just don't even taste them. Or they get stuck in the bottom of your shaker, so if you're going to go for a ghost shake, uh, or a ghost protein shake, don't go for that one. <laughs> that is lunch made chicken and sweet potatoes, it looks unreal. Now, you know that fire edit that you watched at the start with the drone footage of me and Bournemouth? Yeah, I haven't actually done that yet, so that's what I'm going to go and do now, and then carry on with the weekly vlog a bit. Carry on with the, the weekly, the weekly vlog in a bit. Taste test. Hot. Hot. Hello guys, welcome to Thursday. Sorry I didn't actually film anything yesterday. I turned out to not be very well at all. I worked my early sessions 5.30, 7.30 and 9 and then I just got home from work and I absolutely crashed out. I was not very well. So, didn't manage to film anything yesterday. But, yesterday was World Mental Health Day and that's a topic that I wanted to touch on in this weekly vlog just because my channel is all about spreading positivity. I'm an easy going, good vibes, positive guy but Every, there's so many people out there that struggle with mental health issues and it's not talked about so it's the, the campaign is all about getting people talking which I 100% agree with and even if you don't have a problem with mental health you probably know someone that is suffering so I want people to engage if they have are struggling to speak out uh, my DMs are always free or this YouTube platform as well so I just wanted to touch on that in this video if you're struggling or you know someone that needs a bit of support don't be afraid to speak out, speak to someone, uh, because more people are struggling than you realise. So, my DMs are always open, guys. But, let's get back onto the positive vibes. We got back to PT, back to work. Being self-employed, man, you can't have two days off in a row. It made me realise yesterday, so I was at home, in bed all day. I was doing some laps at work, like writing some programmes and stuff like that, which was good. Uh, I also watched a brilliant film, 22nd of... June, I think it was called, based on a true story about a shooting. I was like, wicked film, that was good. Um, but yeah, you can't, you can't, don't work, don't get paid, so back to where we go. Okay, we've made it to the gym and it's push day, and it's also a very big one because it's Jay's last day before he goes back on ship tomorrow. He's on ship for another three months, 
So it's my last day with a proper training partner full time. It's Jay's last proper workout for about three months. There is a gym on board, I think, but yeah, not ideal. So it's a push day. Like I said, we're going to try and power through, even though we're not feeling great, and hopefully get a solid workout in. And noticed the gym has fully changed. They've changed to grey walls instead of the graffiti. Now, I feel like the room feels smaller like that. I think they're trying to get more commercial, trying to get more people in, which is not ideal. Uh, I kind of don't like it as much, but it is what it is. It's not gonna, not gonna affect my gains. Okay then, Pete's happening. Just smashed Jay's last push of probably the year in that gym. Yeah. When are you back? Uh, scheduled. Well, end of December 28th, so. So just before New Year's, which yeah. is, I mean, it's nice to come back before New Year's, but yeah. He's leaving early, earlier than before. Yeah, I've been called back a little bit earlier, so it's a bit rubbish. It is last, shit. It's emotional, session, man. But yeah, very short so, notice. Very short notice. Yeah, so you're going to go back on the boat three months. That means I'm back to solo training. That was a fucking decent workout yeah, as well. Really good. Really Didn't film anything, but we were just nailing it. Uh, I was on the money focus, with the list. Focus, yeah, so it was good. What me and Jay have decided to do, well, I've just decided that we're going to set some goals here and now so that when Jay comes back in three months' time, that's something we have to work towards to try and achieve. Definitely. Right, so for more, our goal's gonna be totally different. Yeah. Because there is a gym on ship, but it's just. Yeah, we've got a gym on ship, but it has like cables uh, and dumbbells. And then like, you know, like the interchangeable dumbbells? Yeah. You can twist them, twist and lock. And then it has one set of 38 kilos. So, so it's got enough it's, to work with. Yeah, it'll be enough to work with, but it's far, not, not ideal far for making ideal. gains. Yeah. So. My main goal is obviously body weight goal. I want to get my body weight up to around 85. So let's say 84 kilos by the time you're back. I'm around 80 now, that's four kilos in three months, yeah. which is doable. Obviously I want to do it the best way possible, trying to build as much muscle as possible. Mm -hmm. So that's in terms of body weight goal. And then in terms of lifts, I really want to hit 100 for triples again. We hit, I hit 90 for 655 today, which is pretty, that's not great. That's what we, I started quite slow today. But that's what I want to hit, 100 for 3x3. Three three. It's just consistency, isn't it? So, I mean, you're not going to be on the channel for three months. I know, mate. And then when he's back, we'll get a link up straight away and let's see if those goals are achieved. Yeah, we'll do it. I'll get there. Yeah, you'll get there, so I'll the get moment, there. Like, not very active, being at home a lot. But once I get on board, I'll be walking around a lot, sweating in the heat. Yes, yeah, so you're getting on at Texas, so, aren't you? Yeah, we're flying out to Houston tomorrow. Mate, so. I might go with him just to see the man, because Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But... Right, time I'll pop in, like. <laughs> that's Jay signing out yeah, for three months. It's yeah. been emotional. I'm gonna grab a thumbnail now. now. Alright, what should we do? Let's wrap up this weekly vlog then. It's Friday and I'm about to go and hit a pool day with Tobes, so that should be a solid workout. But we're shutting off the weekly vlog early because I'm heading to London tomorrow and I'm gonna film a separate video. I wanted to film way more videos than I have this week. I've, I have two videos planned in my head to film, but didn't manage to film either of them because I haven't been very well. Not the best excuse, I know, but it just means next week I'm going to nail down and crack on with some good content. Also, who's watching the Shane Dawson, uh, Jake Paul documentary? I have been addicted to that. It's been like seven out so far, uh, and it's really wicked. It's all about being a sociopath, so it's really, really interesting. Go and check that out if you haven't already. But, like always, if you've enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe. We've had a good subscribe gainer this week, which I've been absolutely buzzing off. So, if you're a new subscriber, I appreciate you. If you're not subscribed, what are you doing? Go and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one.